Saturday of the fifth week of Lent, 9th of April 2022. First reading. Reading from the book of Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I am going to take the sons of Israel from the nations where they have gone. I shall gather them together from everywhere and bring them home to their own soil. I shall make them into one nation in my own land and on the mountains of Israel. And one king is to be king of them all. They will no longer form two nations, nor be two separate kingdoms. They will no longer defile themselves with their idols and their filthy practices and all their sins. I shall rescue them from all the betrayal they have been guilty of. I shall cleanse them. They shall be my people and I will be their God. My servant David will reign over them. One shepherd for all. They will follow my observances, respect my laws and practice them. They will live in the land that I gave my servant Jacob, the land in which your ancestors lived. They will live in it, they, their children, their children's children, forever. David, my servant, is to be their prince forever. I shall make a covenant of peace with them, an eternal covenant with them. I shall resettle them and increase them. I shall settle my sanctuary among them forever. I shall make my home above them. I will be their God. They shall be my people. And the nations will learn that I am the Lord, the sanctifier of Israel, even when my sanctuary is with them forever. Responsorial Psalm The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far-off coasts. Say, he who scatters Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessing of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the young girls will rejoice and dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Gospel Acclamation Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Shake off all your sins. It is the Lord who speaks. And make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Gospel, reading from the book of John. Many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him, but some of them went to tell the Pharisees what Jesus had done. Then the chief priest and the Pharisees called a meeting. Here is this man working all these signs, they said, and what actions are we taking? If we let him go on this way, everyone will believe in him and the Romans will come and destroy the holy place and our nation. One of them, Kiaphas, the high priest that year, said, You do not seem to have grasped the situation at all. You fail to see that it is better for one man to die for the people than for the whole nation to be destroyed. He did not speak in his own person. It was as high priest that he made this prophecy that Jesus was to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but to gather together in unity the scattered children of God. From that day they were determined to kill him. So Jesus no longer went about openly among the Jews, but left the district for a town called Ephraim, in the country bordering on the desert, and stayed there with his disciples. The Jewish Passover drew near, and many of the country people who had gone up to Jerusalem to purify themselves looked out for Jesus, saying to one another, as they stood about in the temple, What do you think? Will he come to the festival or not? Gospel of the Lord.